Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. This is Crystal. Nice to meet you. Now this is my favorite video of the year, but definitely my most challenging video of the year because I cannot pick my favorites, okay? I, that's why I've been procrastinating on this video. I know it's already like mid-January, but I really can't help it. So um, I have different categories that I'm going to show you, but these are not necessarily in order. And I'm trying to hurry because the sunlight is going down. So I don't know if you have identified your favorites of 2023 yet, but I would love to hear what your favorites are. And if you um, share any of the same favorites that I'm showing right now, now definitely there's many, many more I could have chosen. Again, I had a hard time and so many of them, I mean, I had a huge pile, okay? This is not even, these are just ones that I had to just pick, you know what I mean? Like it could be, I mean, there's some that I was digging for, I couldn't even find because I just have so many. So it's not that, it's more like I wanted to, to pick like a variety of brands, finishes, colors, etc. So I'm going to get into it, but please share with me in the comments below uh, what your favorites of 2023 are and what stood out to you this year and what you're looking forward to in this upcoming 2024. Okay, let's get into it. So I want to start out, you guys. Now, listen, I have a very um, particular um, aesthetic. I guess you can say that I like. So if you like the polishes that I like, then definitely take my advice as to if any of these are still available in stock, then, or maybe if you find them in a D stash somewhere, get your hands on them because they're beautiful and they're worth it, okay? Now, I'm just gonna jump right in. I'm not gonna do a countdown. I'm gonna jump right in with my number one number one sorry number one number one overall pick Oop, okay i don't want to show you any spoilers overall pick the best polish of 2023 okay this is it and it is from the brand moon cat and it is called house of hades listen to me you guys I don't care if you don't like blue. I don't care if you don't wear blue or if you do. If you don't have this one yet, you guys, you have to get it, okay? I'm telling you, if you get this one, and I believe they've restocked it, you will not be disappointed. I'm telling you, this is my number one polish pick out of the whole 2023, okay? get this one if you haven't yet okay because this one you will love it first of all and number two you will get compliments on it okay it looks better than it does in person it glows like no other polish you may think oh i have that color already but there's something about this one i'm telling you it 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 stood out above the rest as my favorite okay my number one favorite for this whole year okay so i'm telling you you need to get this one trust me you guys trust me okay all right now i'm going to go into different color categories and different um finish categories also okay i want to jump into let's see which should i do next Let's jump into the um, my two favorite magnetics of the year, okay? Now, this is my first, my top favorite magnetic of 2023. And it's actually a new one that was just released in November 2023 uh, polish pickup. And it's called Kiss Me. And it's this beautiful multi-chrome. I mean, look at that shift, you guys. It's this beautiful multi-chrome, and then when you magnetize it, it pulls this beautiful gold 
to wherever you magnetize it. It is stunning. I mean, just look at these shifts. I can't even, I can't even with this. And you know what? I saw that Cadillacer um, has some, um, like a new winter collection coming out uh, of similar types of like magnetic, um, beautiful polishes. So you might want to look into that. This is my number one magnetic polish of 2023 called Kiss Me. Okay. My second favorite magnetic polish of 2023 is from the brand Moon Cat again. And this was from their Alice in Wonderland collaboration. And this one's called Mad Hatter. So I have a video. Um, you can go back in my playlist and look, but I have a video of this collaboration box with the Alice in Wonderland. And you know what? This was my top standout of the box. It is so stunning. Let me just show you here. It's gorgeous. It pulls this green line right there. It's stunning. But look at how, look at what else is in there, you guys. Look at all of this other goodness that's in there. That is what I'm talking about right there. It's stunning. And look at those color shifts. Pink, gold, everything. There's flakies. There's, I mean, it's just stunning. I don't know what the status is on this one. Just because it was from, you know, that limited... Um, like special collaboration with Disney with the with the Alice in Wonderland but if you can get your hands on this one and you like magnetics I would get this one this one's called Mad Hatter so those are my two favorite magnetics for 2023 and look at this blue house of Hades from Moo Cat you guys it's just sitting here but it's just glowing it's just glowing it's just not and it's in the shade it's amazing all right let's go to my most unique polish my winner for the most unique polish of 2023 and this award winning polish it goes to the brand called dawn diva and it, there was a whole collection that had this kind of um formulation but this specific polish I grabbed out of here out of it's called puns and roses and it's got OGUP so original unicorn and pigment in it and it's got these blue flakes but the one the thing that makes it the most unique out of the whole 2023 polishes is that these are actual dried roses Okay, that's why it's called puns and roses, right? Because these are actual dried rose petals in there. But you can also see that there's micro blue flakes in there. And then you can see that there's um, OGUP in there, pigment as well. These are all like rosebuds, rose petals, but it's stunning. And it's so unique. I don't have anything else like this. And I've never seen anything else like this. Um, I love it. It was my most unique polish of 2023. And I have to give it to this brand, Don Diva. And I don't get into the politics of brands. I mean, if, you know, I, I go by their polish. Um, but since I've been purchasing from Don Diva, I haven't had any negative um, interactions with them. I actually quite um, enjoy my my purchases from them. So in that sense, I really recommend Don Diva. Um, I know online there's some uh, opinions about the brand that are from like five plus years ago or whenever they were, but I can't speak to that at all because I haven't experienced that in my own um, experiences, okay? All right, now this is a very new category right here, but it's the winner of the top cream formula polish of 2023. And 
it's amazing that this is even on here because if you know my channel you know that I don't really gravitate towards cream polishes because I just feel like it's too basic I mean I could put toppers over but I really don't like I need more bling I need more <laughs> substance you know what I mean but this cream I actually loved it I put it on my my partner Gordon he loves it and it's from Holo Taco from the Safia um, collaboration collection and this one's called feeling fiendish and I don't know what it was about this cream but the color the formula everything it just worked for me I don't know but and you know with my skin tone too when I had it on it was just perfect like I don't do creams but this didn't even need a topper for me and hello just that right there made it like onto the list like wow it has to be good for me to even just wear it or want to wear it and then actually love it so <laughs> so there's that okay now I have two tops favorites of 2023 for um, flakies. Now I want to say that for flakies, um, Cadillacer actually got me into the extra large flakies, um, but I couldn't find what I was looking for for my Cadillacer. So um, I picked these other two, which kind of also represent the flakies that um, Cadillacer has that I love but um, here's the first one it's from Swamp Gloss and this is called how can these legendary hands help you okay and I'm relatively new to this brand Swamp Gloss so again these are polishes that I purchased in 2023 were they available before 2023 I'm not sure if all of them but I know in like 99% of these polishes were released in 2023. So, um, but you know, some of them, if they didn't, especially if they don't have a, a date on the bottom, I'm not so sure as like this brand, I'm kind of new to it, right? But, but look at these flaky, this is the kind of flakies that I fell in love with this year, which is these like extra large, you know, larger than a fish flake, uh, type of flakies i love this i can't get enough of that because i know like in some of my previous videos i'm like uh, i'm kind of over flakies flakes but like then like this these extra large flakies came out and i love it like wow i just can't even get enough of that and then of course they also have these uh like matte hex glitters or whatever in here and it just like it just speaks to my heart okay and then the second one that's similar is this one from the brand called bees knees lacquer or bkl and this one um was from june 2023 fandom flakies box i am now the most powerful turtle in the world so based off of the mario movie that came out now look at this you guys look at these flakes look at these flakes right here let me try to get it to focus it's like so massive that it's hard to even focus on these things and also th this one also has the micro hollow flakes in there as well in addition to these beautiful stunning extra large flakes i mean that is stunning i love that it's just i can't get enough so pretty i mean geez and then and it has the hollow in there right wow beautiful so pretty like i'd rather have it like just a few of these huge extra large flakies well and i love micro hollow flakes obviously to add more bling but i'd rather have that than like a bunch of just average size flakies you know i want things to be unique and stand out and this is stunning to me okay what's next um let me do my my top um 
two Halloween polishes of this year. Now, this surprised me because I don't even know this brand. I'm new to this brand this year. And that is called, let me take off this swatch ring real quick. And that is, the brand is called Sweet and Sour Lacquer. Now, I'm obviously familiar with this brand and you guys might be too, but I never really purchased from them. And I definitely wasn't thinking that they would have the top Halloween polishes um, for 2023, but I ended up loving these two. And I didn't even like pick these as, um, you know, as like, oh, let me pick a duo for this brand. No, it was like, oh, I love this one. And then I picked, oh, I love this one. And then they just so happened to be the same brand. So they really st stood out to me this year. So let me look at the first one. So this one is called, this one was from Polish Pickup, November, 2023. And this one's called Weeping Woman. And so they, this was stunning to me because they put a different spin on this like black to red multi-chrome, kind of like the, the formula that is, um, you know, ILNP's Eclipse. But then they put this green shimmer in there that is just like, it brings it to another level and it just makes it so unique to me. I just thought that was stunning and very unique. And I loved it and I thought it worked so good. So yeah, I really loved that this one right here. Okay. And I know it's I don't think it came out in time for Halloween, but I still like I think I bought it I don't remember, but Maybe I bought it like right after Halloween or something, but I loved it. And then this one is from PPU September. So, so yeah, so they're like around Halloween time. And this one's called The Saw Is Family. And I think this one is from um, like inspired by Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And now these are not the extra large flakes that I was just <laughs> raving about. Um, but what I what stood out to me on these ones is that this is like a red, red blood, blood red jelly base, right? But then it's like these glowing, like glowing, like bioluminescent uh, type flakes, and I just. I think this is so unique like I don't have anything that looks like this like the they those flakes just glow in that jelly red like it's like a dark blood red jelly base and that's pretty unique uh, in my opinion and I and I think you know I appreciate that especially like for a Halloween polish you know um, I just thought those two were so interesting um, and I definitely loved them Okay, next, let's do, um, let's do my favorite toppers of this year. Okay, so springtime, I really was loving this topper right here. Like you can see, it's like, I have a, a, a backup bottle of this, but I loved this one. I, I totally use this like on my spring trips. Um, in 2023 so that's from this brand called Watcha and um, this was from March 2023 uh, Hella Handmade Creations and it's called Blossom and I you know what they nailed this okay Blossom and it looks like spring on your nails like it's these um, um, is it multi-chrome flakes I think it's multi-chrome flakes but it's like they're like pink and gold and even some green even some blue but you know you do like your spring mani and you put this on and it looks kind of like you know a, a, a garden like a spring garden on your nails and i just thought that was so beautiful um stunning actually and i actually ended up wearing this one 
when I went to Italy um, to visit in Italy, I was wearing this one and it, like I was just wearing this topper like by itself. I just had it like built up like it, it wouldn't reach opacity because it's a clear base but just with all those beautiful colors and just just spring reference it's so stunning and it even has some like tiny tiny hints of micro glitter in there if you're able to see that like micro hollow glitter so it would really catch the sun also and give me that little extra bling that I need. <laughs> okay, so that's that was my springtime topper. And then in summertime, I loved this topper right here from the brand Wildflower Lacquer. And this one um, was from their Back to the 90s Volume 2. And this one's called Frank Me Up and is kind of inspired by um, Lisa Frank from the 90s. And the sun is going down, but it basically it's a topper that has like, I'd say it has like the uh, linear, linear hollow in there, but then it also has these like stunning, um, so cute neon matte different color glitters and it's just it's just so fun because she wildflower released like this um neon cream collection also in the summer and then i was having a lot of fun like putting this topper over all of that because you know it would basically it, was, it just made it easy for me because it matched with all these different colors you know and i didn't have to worry about that and it just was a way for me to um spice up you know I, I can't just do creams by themselves except for this one which was made it so cool all right sorry um and then late summer early autumn um i was using this one and you can see that in one of my videos um this topper is from El emily de molly and this one's called waiting for the sun and this one's probably my most unique topper because it, it literally looks like sun rays. Um, it's gold hollow basically. And it's got, it's got these little um, like circle hollow glitters in there. But then it also has these like little squiggly bar glitters that make it look like sun rays. And yeah, I put this over top like a yellow, um, like a yellow polish, like a yellow foily type polish. And then I put this and it, yeah, it looked like sun, sunshine, sun rays on my nails. It was so cool. But I really liked playing with this one. So unique. And then in the fall, I got this topper and it's already lovingly used, but this is from the brand called Mooncat and it's called, this one's called Fool's Gold. I'm actually wearing it right now, but this is already like a week old manicure, but um, this is a matte, so it dries matte matte gold flaky topper okay called fool's gold and it, okay don't look at the bottle because <laughs> i've already lovingly used it and it's all messy and you know how i do my swatches i'm really messy but yeah this one is so such an easy reach for me like it's a way to like bling up my nails but like in a different way because it dries matte but you know you can add the the glossy um glossy top coat you know to make it glossy it doesn't have to be matte but i just loved this one it's just really fun and you know any kind of warmish leaning polishes would would do well with a matte i mean sorry with a gold type of um topper 
Okay, and then um, the last topper that I got in 2023 that I'm really enjoying right now is from the brand called Polish for Days. And then this is called uh, Diamond Dust. Okay. And, um, you know, it's, it doesn't seem like anything special. Like it's basically very, very fine, hollow, like dust sized particles, like a scattered hollow, but I love it. Like, look how pretty that is. And you can't ever go wrong with like adding the hollow, you know, my nails look horrible right now, but um, you can't really see it that good, but I had the, I put the dark polish on and then I put this gold flaky topper on and then I actually put this over it, over all of those. <laughs> and then it added, you know, this diff, this um, extra hollow, um, just, ho you know, extra hollow bling so that, you know, I could get my bling on because I just need it, you know what I mean? So anyway, this one, it's got an excellent formula and I believe it's it's permanent on Polish for Days website. So you can pick that up. Okay, now um, I'm gonna run through, I have some color, just some color um, categories right here that I'm gonna run through really fast because I'm losing the light. So um, for my blackish color category, my favorite this year in 2023 was Hollow Tacos Bat B from the Sophia collection. So it's my favorite bl uh, blackish polish because it's it's really got this um, like very subtle like bluish pearly like velvety tint like I can't really describe it but you can kind of see it right there when I make it blurry um, and then like that but it's just very subtle but you know from far away it looks black but um, but it does have that like surprise um, hint of color in there which I really like okay and then my favorite white this year is from um, the brand called Paradox Polish. And this one, I believe it's a permanent right now on the um, little, what's it called? Little Box of Horrors uh, website. And they have a collaboration box that they do, kind of like Polish Pickup. So again, it's called Little Box of Horrors. I believe it's my bi-monthly. And again, this is from Paradox Polish there and this one's called the fog and that stands for glow in the dark so this is basically a matte white polish so you can see it like literally looks like fog okay but it's a, a matte white polish and then in the dark it glows red and I love it I just really love it and it's unique again, you know? So I really love that. Okay, my favorite um, silver hollow for 2023 that I purchased is from the brand called Great Lakes Lacquer. And this one's called Willow Wisp. And this, I got this one recently from a restock um, that she did. So um, she came out with some um, restocks and some 2.0 versions of some polishes um, so I'm not sure exactly when this originally released but I did just order it and get it um, at the end of 2023 and this is just stunning because you know I just like things that are unique and just makes them special right so if you see there there's like a like a pink like a gold to pink to purple shimmer in there and then it all and even some blue but then it also has it has like every kind of hollow like it has the linear hollow you see right there but then it also has like a scattered hollow micro flake in there 
And I know it's hard to see on a video like this, but let's see, when I put it like this, you can kind of see like some little, um, little micro flakes in there. If I put it like that, you see that? Um, but yeah, when I, when I show it, you know, even the sun's going down and it's still a bunch of rainbows coming, but again, it's, it's silver it's a silver base like a regular hollow but it's definitely not basic and i love that okay i'm running out of space here okay let me go into um my favorite like red slash pinks okay we're gonna start with um great lake slacker again this is from that same order. So this is Great Lakes Lacquer and this one's called FTFS version two. And this is like a beautiful burgundy and I'm running out of the sunlight, but this hollow is stunning, but it's hard to find like a really nice, um, saturated burgundy like this. And then plus it has like that stunning, um hollow in there that's just like in your face i love like i love that kind of hollow you know i i, I don't want i don't want to be subtle you know what i mean <laughs> i mean if i want to be i can but i prefer not to be okay and then this is a i brought this one back because it did come back for polish pickup rewind this year this is from wildflower and it's called Perhaps a Christmas Gourd. Now, I believe it was originally re released in November 2022, and I had it on my favorites 2022 video. But again, I'm not cheating because it was voted on and re-released for um, Polish Pickup Rewind in June, I believe it was, 2023. And it is so stunning. Like my mom wears it, I wear it, everybody wears this. It's so stunning, definitely worth it. Very saturated, highly saturated. You wanna wear a very good base coat, if not two layers. So make sure, you know, no staining because it is very saturated and stunning, okay? Um, and I did get another bottle. This is just my older bottle that I grabbed, but I did get another bottle a backup bottle for this year um for you know 2023 so i can still include it <laughs> okay and like the magenta fuchsia category we have great lakes lacquer again this is called melted fuchsia stunning again stunning right what do i need to say it just the colors the formula the everything about it is just stunning you know, I, I never, like Great Lakes Lacquer is just so pretty. I really was so impressed by them. Okay. And remember you guys when, like around summertime, when that huge Barbie movie came out and everybody had pink polishes? Well, this was my winner out of all of those, okay? It's from Polish for Days. And this one's called Barbie on the Boardwalk and it's from June, 2023, Polish Pickup. And this is just my winner out of all of those Barbie shades. I, you know, a lot of them were similar and a lot of them look the same, but this one, just something about it, like with my skin tone or whatnot, I just really loved it. And the shimmer was, was perfect. And I just, and I love the name Barbie on the Boardwalk. I just loved everything about this one. So this one was really fun and I really enjoyed wearing that. Um, for like the yellow, yellow orange golds, um, I have this one from Bees Knees Lacquer, BKL. And this one was more recent from December 2023 Polish Pickup. And this one's called Game Within Games. Games Within Games. And this is just stunning. I mean, this this is one of their uh, reflective glitters. And trust me, like, they, Bees Knees Lacquer knows how to do uh, reflective glitter formulas the right way, okay? Don't be scared of it. 
or don't hate on it like I literally love their reflective glitter formulas but look at this shimmer in this one like it looks like a freaking sunset right it's so stunning like it's so beautiful I love it this is without no flash and look at the sun's already down and it's still glowing that much right beautiful stunning stunning I love it um another one from polish for days this was from like their well they call it a haunted glow collection 2023 from the fall but wherever you dwell is inspired by the haunted mansion so and again this is polish for days and i just loved this one out of the collection because it was unique you know it's glowing like this but it's very unique and i love i loved all the shifts in it okay um another one that i really liked this year um is from the brand mooncat again they really i really enjoyed mooncat this year i have a video i have a couple videos um that i posted this year about them but they like i tried them when they first went transitioned from live love polish over to mooncat which is a few years ago and i i wasn't I wasn't very impressed and I didn't really care for it. So I didn't purchase till all the way till this year. And then you can see my journey, like rediscovering them and just being so impressed with how much Mooncat has not just improved, but really captured my heart. I mean, my number one polish from this whole entire year is Mooncat House of Hades. So that tells you something. But um, this one right here is called Whiskey Sunrise. And I just thought this one was stunning. Um, it's from their Rodeo collection, which was released this fall. And um, they have a couple of browns in it, but this one's more of like a reddish copper. And I just love it. And I think of whiskey, like, you know, um, I'm, I'm American, but I have um, Irish, um, you know, genealogy or whichever you want to i don't know the word but anyway irish ancestry in me so um i think of whiskey i think of like irish whiskeys and everything and i just i don't know i just love it it's just awesome and it really goes well with my skin tone and everything okay now let's go to our greens we're almost done you guys so hang in there with me now green lots of compliments on when i was wearing this color wildflower lacquer frog and toad from november 2023 polish pickup it is the sibling the same formula as perhaps a christmas gourd only it's the green version and that this is the red version but i'm telling you if you ever hear wildflower lacquer offer a polish that is in that formula you need to get it it's stunning i mean on camera you're like oh it's just a green shimmer but no i'm telling you it's so beautiful um again wear a very very good base coat if not two because it's so saturated and just so vibrant that yeah it's it's stunning let me tell you i was wearing this one and if you didn't notice these make excellent christmas colors by the way um but yeah i was wearing this one in december and so many co-workers stopped by and just was admiring this and just saying like it looked like one of <laughs> the christmas ornaments that we had hanging up in our um, office because it really does it's really that vibrant and glowy okay um another green that i really loved in the summer was i had a lot of fun with this one. Oh, let me shake it a little bit more okay so i haven't worn it since the summer because it is a neon but this is from the brand dreamland and this one was called shake your shamrock is from uh, July 2023 and it looks like this was also a rewind 
So I got this during Rewind, but it might have, I guess it must have come back. I forgot when it was originally released. But yeah, this one was stunning and um, again, it also just glows and it just, it has that like, it has like a bluish shimmer, but it's just really pretty, you know, it just, again, if you don't notice the theme here, I like it when it kind of pops off your nails, you know? <laughs> okay. And the last in like the green category, but it's kind of like multiple colors, so it's hard to, to describe, is from Bees Knees Lacquer again, and still no effing excuse. It's from the collection from the Fall of the House of Usher, as released this fall. And this is in their Bees Knees Lacquer's famous um, Lion with a Thorn in Its Paw formula, okay? If you ever hear that they're releasing a polish with this formula, you have to get it because it's stunning. Like every polish in this formula is so stunning. I don't know what it is, but I had to still put this one, even though if you look back at my favorites, um, favorite polishes of 2022, I do have um, a lot of Bees Knees Lacquer polishes that are in this formula, just different colors. But this is just amazing. Like this formula still doesn't disappoint. It still makes it on the top list. So I'm like, yes, please. Any more of that, I will love it. <laughs> okay. Um, and one last mention, I'd say as we're gonna move into the blues next is Ethereal Lacquer um, in the fall 2023. This one's called Vanitas. They came out with this Memento Mori collection and it reminded me of when I was in Paris in um, what's called the Paris Catacombs, Catacombs Underground. And um, this, this, I could have put this whole collection in my favorites, but it was so unique. And again, like it had a personal memory or significance, sentimental. A value to me but I just thought this whole collection was very unique and stunning like you know ethereal a lot of times she has like these you know ethereal pinks and purples etc but this whole collection was very like dark and um, you know like dark browns and just really stunning uh beautiful beautiful polishes and i really appreciated ethereal going there so i really had to mention that one of course okay guys we're almost done and now uh, last but not least our favorites right our blues and lastly is our purples okay so going into our blues light blue Great Lakes Lacquer, again. This one is a shimmer formula. And again, I purchased restock, so I'm not sure when it uh, originally released, but I did purchase this in 2023. This one's called The Sirens of Lake Superior, Rachel. And it's just this stunning, like, blue, like almost periwinkle, but then it has this sunset of this shimmer in there it's just oh my gosh i am telling you like great lakes lacquer really did it to me this year <laughs> they really like impressed me um they're up there man they're up there with some of my favorites so yeah if you haven't tried that brand you really need to Okay, and then another light blue is um, the brand Glisten and Glow. And this one is called Snow Angels, and it's fairly recent from December 2023 Polish Pickup. And this one, again, it's so stunning, but this one has um, large particle shimmer. And this is more of like a sky blue. But then, yeah, it just it just shows like a large particle um, shimmer, but you see all of that beautiful um, just shifts and oh, I, 
I love it, you know, and it's saying snow angels, and it's just, oh, I love it so much. Um, I've also been exploring more of Glisten and Glow this year, because I didn't really have any of their stuff um, previous, except for like um, Glisten and Glow's grid, uh, Glitter Grabber. I always, you know, I talk about that always. I have to use that one, so. Um, this one is so pretty. This is from Wildflower Lacquer. And this one was from August 2023's Polish Pickup. And this one is called Foxfire. And it's this formula that Wildflower Lacquer is really getting into right now. I believe she's coming out with um, a collection in January, um, or she just did, I think, um, of this kind of like micro flake formula. But it just stunning like it's kind of like having bling without needing glitter you know because it has like this this glowiness and this yeah blinginess like something special about it but yet it's not like it's sparkly right but it's not glitter so it's easy to remove etc but yeah this is beautiful okay And then um, one from, I didn't put the, that many of uh, damn nail polish into uh, the favorites this year, but I did purchase a lot of theirs. It's just hard to pick, you know? And this one's from November, 2023, Polish Pickup. If it fits, I slip. So it's basically like Cinderella's glass slipper. Cinderella's glass slipper and, you know, Dam is another brand that knows how to do reflective nail polish correctly and if you look at this crazy one i mean think about cinderella's glass slipper right it's just it's gotta be special and you know it has this they put this intense blue shimmer in there but and silver reflective glitter but they also have micro hollow glitter and they also have micro hollow blue glitters in there I mean, so think about, think about Cinderella, think about how sparkly that has to be, and that's this polish right here. And honestly, the sun is already down, but man, this baby can really <laughs> light up, light up your life, man, when it's, when the sun or the uh, bright light is right on it, like a flashlight. Um, but you don't need a flashlight but i'm just saying even without all that you can even th see this the blue glitters even better so yeah that's crazy i'm gonna put that over here okay you guys last but not least i only have three polishes left and they are my purples okay where's all my purple lovers okay here we go the first one is from bees knees lacquer again and this one is called his gentle ruler i picked this one because i just thought it looked so unique like this formula business lacquer they i love how they experiment like with different kinds of formulas and stuff and i think this is um also like a micro hollow flake type of thing type of formula but i just thought this was the most unique purple like one of the most unique purples i've seen and again it's it's more of like a micro flake formula so it's not you know glitter it's not anything like that but it's just so stunning like it can be blingy without all of that other stuff you know and i just thought it just looks so unique also just stunning to me i love how bees knees just really like uh, explores with formulas and colors and speaking of that <laughs> they're my second favorite purple this is the older label if you were wondering by the way they've switched to they've switched to this newer looking label but this one um, is still bees knees lacquer and this one um, this one has UP which is unicorn pigment in it and it's got now this has got the glitter so listen 
I love glitter, okay? I'm talking about, I love it. It's so blingy, it's so stunning. This is micro hollow glitter and a lot of polishes don't do micro hollow glitter that much anymore because I don't know, they just do different things. But I love, I love the glitter. It just blings like no other. And again, the sun is down. I should have done this one um, like earlier in the video because when that, when the sun or bright light hits this um, hollow glitter, it just reminds me of why, um, why glitter is worth it to me. You know, some people don't appreciate like it being a little bit harder to remove off of the nail, but to me, uh, it's worth it. Okay. And I just appreciated that I'm making it blurry on purpose to kind of get a little bit of that sparkle to show up, but um, I just appreciated that Bee's Knees Lacquer did that. In addition to the unicorn pea pigment that is in this one, okay? So this one's really special to me. I love the purple, I love the shimmer, I love the unicorn pigment, and I love the micro hollow glitter, okay? And then last, 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 the winner of the, the purple slash blurple of the year <laughs> is Polish for Days, Goblins and Ghoulies, okay? Is from September 2023, Polish Pickup. And it already gets, um, it already gets some extra points for being a Halloween po polish. And then also it gets extra points on top of that for being um, Haunted Mansion inspired. And then it gets lots of points for being stunning. I mean, this thing is just so glowy and so beautiful. And of course it's not really showing up that good on the video, but it's got, like, let me show you real quick, hold on. Again, it's hard to see on the video, but if I can show it to you. Let me see here. It's got this, like, grape purple jelly base type of thing. And then it's got this blue shimmer that is just out of this world and if you think you know I like that you're right because it's kind of like if you took this amazing shimmer and put it like in this whole polish that's what the winner of this this year's polishes is, is is the moon cat house of Hades again tell me do you love this one if you try it just because I recommended it can you please let me know can you please uh, comment down below and let me know if you ended up purchasing this one after watching this video and then you try it please let me know what your thoughts are but I also love it when you tell me like oh I never heard of that brand or I never heard of that kind of thing uh, I love hearing that from you guys. Um, so yeah, please let me know. Um, share that with me. It's the reason why I do this. I have such a passion for nail polishes. It's my hobby to collect them. And I just wanted to, you know, share my enthusiasm and share my experience and share my, my thoughts and love for it with all of y'all. So thank you again for joining me. And again, I can't wait to hear from you guys. So from the 2023 <laughs> Favorites Collection, I will, we will all, all the polishes and me, <laughs> see you next time.
bye. Whoops.